it's time for the second race here at Cowdell Park for the HSCC Historic Formula Ford Championship. Front row, Sam Mitchell and Ben Sims. This is the result of race one to Sam Mitchell. Um, returned to the championship one yesterday. So he's on pole alongside Ben Sims. Deck of Rose, James Buckton and Robert Wainwright. Then Perty Kaviri and Brian Morris on row three. Alistair Littlewood and Roland Savenson. Row four, James Hadfield and Alex Meek on... The fifth row of the grid. But looking a bit further back. Max Bartella, Michael O'Brien right near the back after they had problems yesterday. Watch out for them. They'll be coming through on this tight circuit. But we're going to ride on board for the start of the race for Sam Mitchell. The red lights here at Cowdell Park go out for the second time this weekend for Paul Lord. And Mitchell slides off the line. Go to the right hand side of the circuit. There's not much room there, but Ben Sims takes it after a great start. And Sims on the outside line heading into Coppers. But they are absolutely side by side. And it's Sims though, has that inside line for Charlie's, and he takes a lead. And Jomo leads then for the first time this weekend. Remember, Sims started seventh yesterday, so he's working his way through the order. He leads now. Michael O'Brien trying to find his way through the field, slicing up on the inside of Julian Pearce, go for the right hand at the uh, second part of Charlie's, and now heading down the park straight, following Max Bartel, they're side by side in front of Bartel, because his track is so tight, he uh, can't find a way through, but now he goes ahead of Wrigley, and he also passes the 14 car, Oh, Michael Wrigley. So Matthew Wrigley was the first one they got past, and now Michael Wrigley as well. Through the gooseneck for the leaders, and Sims leads. Sims is on the grass out of the gooseneck. Gavin's is all back up, still leads away, didn't really lose any time. They turn through Manfield then. Mitchell working at the wheel through the corner there. Now heading down towards the mountain. Back towards where the start line is, but we're going to turn left at the mountain. Okay, we go then. Inside to Mitchell. Mitchell on the grass. He's heading towards the barriers over the top of the hill there. He rejoins the circuit though, but loses three positions. Sam Mitchell chucking it away there. And he's rejoined the circuit, continues on his way. And Michael O'Brien heading past that the scene of the incident there, but many, many cars between him and Mitchell heading down towards the hairpin. But Brian passes Bartel, and he also goes ahead of the Titan of Nick uh, Pazzini from the older Titans, a Mark 5 car. Heading now onto the uh, start and finish line. I believe the first lap of the 20 minute race here at Cadwell Park is Ben Sims that leads the way. Bartel, um, sorry, Bartel as well. But Michael O'Brien, plenty of passes he needs to do. This race next. Andrew Wiggins. He squeezes up on the inside of Charlie's and Wiggins cuts the nose off of O'Brien. So actually, the one of the was O'Brien lost time trying to squeeze up on the inside of Wiggins, who's actually trying to challenge the car in front of him. This is Roger Arnold. And I side through Chris Kerr with Arnold O'Brien. Trying to work out where he can go past. But outside through Gooseneck, there's room there, and he goes right round Wiggins through the first part of the Gooseneck, quick right and left, and down the hill. Roger Arnold now is going to come under threat through Mansfield and possibly now O'Brien can't quite do it there. About the mountain, the bottom of the mountain, the left hand apart. He's going to look on the inside, just as done, he gets Arnold there. There's yellows, he gets it out just before the yellows. I think that's James Buckton off the road. Yes, it is. James Buckton was second position. He went really well yesterday, and it was going well up till then. James Buckton off then, out of the podium position. He's lost a lot more positions than what Sam Mitchell did last lap. Andrew Mansell now under threat from Michael O'Brien, and O'Brien goes through past Mansell. O'Brien starts to delight that place as an overtaking opportunity through the hairpin. It's not really considered the most overtaking place here at Cadwell Park, but Michael O'Brien making it work well. So he's gained, I think, three positions on this lap. Alex Meek is the next car. Around the outside of Coppice, giving the inside for Charlie's, and he goes through. James Lovett, I think, is the next car. He gets him the second part of Charlie's. O'Brien now quickly moving his way through the traffic. The next car is Chris Sharples, and there's a big gap. So once O'Brien has done this, he can He'll have a bit of you know, clear space. I think it's a nice position which Sharples occupies at the moment. So already inside the top ten is O'Brien. 
Bears is going to make it work then. Inside line headed out for Chris Curve into the gooseneck. Well, you know, more through Chris Curve, wasn't going down before the gooseneck. And we've had a change further up. This is a replay. Sam Mitchell the inside into Coppice. There goes fourth. That'll be third though, won't it? Because the fraction of the run. So third is Sam Mitchell. On board of Alex Mix. Have got round the outside goes Matt Bartell through the first part of the mountain. So Bartell still working his way through not quite as quickly as what Michael O'Brien did. And this is where O'Brien likes to take a move. And actually, it's Alex Mick coming back at Bartell. But, um, can't do anything there. And that does show you how impressive what Michael O'Brien was doing for that corner. Having Braving it down around the outside now to all, all vents. Uh, Bartel gains a position. He goes ahead of James Lovett into Coppice. And I think he's going to get Chris Sharples into Charlie's. He does. So two positions relatively quickly gained for Max Bartel. So he can now settle down to the circuit. Me coming around Lovett towards Park Corner. Love it on that inside line, he should hold on to position, he does. Chris Curve now. Right hander that just keeps them going. And into the goose now. And then down the hill to Mansfield. Tricky on the brakes. Through there, going downhill. Worse than wet. Nice, nice weekend here at Cowden Park. So no worries about any wet weather. And then into the mountain. The Sharples. Love it and meek. Over the top of the hill. Love it. Having to defend a bit there. Because meek had a good run up and over the hill. But Paul Bend really not a place you can make a bar. So it's not the bottom up with this line there. Well, but it's not a place you can really to move on. And that's me coming up to complete another lap. On board is Sam Mitchell, and he's caught the top two already. He's flying his Mitchell, so it's Ben Sims that leaves. Robert Wainwright right on to be a gearbox at Sims. And Sam Mitchell's not going to waste any time. He's already coming up alongside Robert Wainwright along the park, straight towards Park Corner. He's got a good run. He's coming up alongside Ben Sims as well. Can he get both cars here? He breaks later than Sims. He's around the outside. He's going a bit too much speed. Runs out over the grass. Sims gets the lead back and Wainwright keeps seconds as well. So in the end of that, Mitchell didn't gain any positions. But the pace, he has caught these top two. Wow, oh, quite astonishing last lap he was over a second quicker than Ben Sims. He was two and a half seconds behind on the completion of lap three and he was right with him on the completion of lap four. So Mitchell really going quick. How long will it take him though to actually successfully pass these two leaders because it's not like the usual circuit Cadwell Park. It is very very difficult to pass. A big slide out of the mountain there for Mitchell has allowed the top two just to break away slightly through Hall Bend. How much speed does Mitchell carry through here? Oh he's over the grass again. Over the grass out of Hall Bend. He gathers it up though. Not actually particularly with the grass but not really time lost there. Uh, out of Barn Corner and they complete the fifth lap, I think. Uh, it's lap five being completed. So Ben Sims leads. 31, Wainwright second. One, Mitchell third. Fourth is 38, Fury. Uh, fifth is 10, Hadfield. Sixth, sixth is Michael O'Brien. O'Brien from the back up to sixth in five laps. Great effort from Michael O'Brien. He actually got that position on the completion of lap four. That's about 20 cars passed. Right up towards Park Corner we go once again and Wayne right now putting the challenge on. He's coming round the outside of Ben Sims and Sims having to fed hard. But Wayne right all now trying to come to the cutback as Sims slides out wide over the curb in there. But no worries, he carries the lead, carries the speed out of the corner. Bit further um, down the road, we go on board of Alex Meek who's challenging James Lovett. Let's put Sharples. There we go. Oh, James Buck's on a recovery. He's going way too fast in the far corner. He loses it. It's over the grass. He's taking Sharples with him. And now 
um, love it. Under threat from me. He's going to go all over the curb in there. Not quite wide enough for two cars. He backs out of it. But my goodness. You will see it here. James Buck on the grass backwards. Arriving towards Park Corner. Right, back to the leaders. Back on board is Sam Mitchell. He's back in the next stream of Robert Wainwright. Can't do the outside there. Wainwright trying to challenge Simpson South. And I think Mitchell realised that. So he thought, if we get out of it, don't want any contact. So, through this curve. Continuing to lead and it's Ben Sims. Great defensive driver since came apart though you'll be insane. A bit of an easier place to defend than uh, places like Snefton and Silverstone where we've been recently. Ruxton of course as well. The big slipstreaming circuit where we saw plenty of passes throughout the weekend. Yellow flags over the top of the mountain. Now what's happened here? It's an early yellow because yellow's in double bend as well so we can get a bit drastic. Yes! There's a car right on the apex of the corner. A good job for all three drivers to realise what was happening there. Marshall's doing a good job as ever getting the yellows out nice and early to warn the drivers. Because well, that was actually quite nasty, couldn't it? But Carl right in the apex. Now, if that car doesn't move, we're going to have to get a red flag. There's no way. Oh, now, now, Mitchell uh, signalling to the pit wall. I think the car sliding about is what he was saying there. Dad Westy on the uh, wall. But he was out for the last couple of rounds. Lost out at Stefan by one thousandth of a second to Ben Sims. Closest finish that you're going to see, really. Anyway, back to this race. It's the top three. Still line astern, heading up towards the park corner. Mick the Wainwright again goes to the outside of Sims. It's going to be very difficult for Mitch to find a play through. That's the best passing opportunity. The top two are usually side by side into there. Really, you think very methodically and where to find a way past the Cadwell. Not like anywhere else. And diving now on the inside, Mitchell. Great move into Mansfield. It goes ahead of Wayne Wright. It's cleanly done. Good move there to take second position. On board and James love it. This is where he always got wiped out by James Buckton. And he gets past this time by Alex Nick to meet gains a position. That was nicely done. Clean move. To park corner. He's really starting to break away. Alex Neek on a bit of a charge here. Inside the top ten, those two. Back on board the leaders. Back on board of Weston Mitchell. It's Ben Sims that still leads. Lead another lap. Here comes Mitchell. A great slipstream up across the line. He's got the inside line for Cobbis. He takes the lead then into Cobbis corner. Good move from Westy Mitchell. Ben Sims down with the second then. What can Ben Sims do? He's going to have to put a challenge on because we know Sam Mitchell has had a lot of pace this weekend. So, up towards Park Corner then. Mitchell defends. He knows this is the place where Sims could find a way back through. He was half alongside Mitchell, but with Mitchell on the inside line, there was no way through for Sims. Well, using that slipstream to carry so much more speed around the circuit. Now with Sims behind Mitchell, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he'd be able to go with it. So, see how this goes. Back with him now. Here's Sims. He never really fell away, did he? Um, into the mountain then, the left, right. A very impressive return to the series for Dan Mitchell. Oh, he's on the grass over the mountain though. Not sure of the car quite where he wants it to be in this one. Gliding around, perhaps a bit more than what he'd like. Oh, yes, so look at that. Complete opposite lock through uh, the hairpin there. And now heading into that section is Michael O'Brien. And he's flying as well. He's closed in this battle for fourth. It's Gaviria ahead of Hadfield. And then O'Brien here in sixth. Through Barn Corner then. Complete another lap as well. Nine, we complete. 
first lap with Sam Mitchell as we led the way. Only a few minutes left now of this race. So let's see if Michael O'Brien can get himself up to fourth by the end. And look at Hadfield charging to the inside to go ahead of Kaviri for the second part of uh, Charlie's. And you have to be careful there because you get slip seamed up the straight. But Hadfield positioned his car so Kaviri couldn't get on the power as early as him. Now the slip seam's working for Kaviri and he's coming back at Hadfield. So even though he did lose out at the beginning of the straight, by the end of the straight, you could slip stream past. So back in the fourth goes Kaviri, Hadfield having to watch his mirrors because Michael O'Brien trying to draw up alongside him, couldn't do anything though. They're down to Gooseneck now, and Hadfield late on the brakes, sir. Gets right underneath Kaviri. Oh, big sideways moment, but can he get himself up alongside, headed down towards Mansfield? No, he can't. That's a bit too sideways on the exit of Gooseneck. And we head now back towards the paddock part of the uh, circuit. All bends first of all. They head over the mountain, the paddock on the left hand side of the circuit. Oh and, and Kaviri off the road. He's on the grass over the top of the mountain. That's allowed Hadfield through into Hall Bends. So the Hadfield up to fourth, down to fifth for Kaviri. O'Brien in sixth. Well, I think he hit the curb. There we just put the camera slightly up position. His favourite place to pass. He strikes again into the hairpin. He goes up to fifth place and he passes. Perti Kaviri. So into the top five from the back of the grid is Michael O'Brien. Up across the line then. A bit defensive heading into Coppers Corner. Of course, Kaviri looking for that slip shoot into the left hander at Coppers. They go then. O'Brien brought himself back to the racing line for the corner. Now, where is he going to line up uh, James Hadfield? He's a bit sideways. Look at the exit Charlie's there. Up the hill. Good slip stream from O'Brien. He draws up now alongside James Hadfield and he's got the move done up to fourth place then for O'Brien. He won't get any further than that for the top three. A long way further up the road. Final lap of the race for Sam Mitchell. Then he turns to the left hander at Man with a couple of cars to lap. Ben Simmons is only about a second behind, so he's going to have to get this done smoothly. Firstly, then, he laps Cliff Gray down towards the mountain. I think it's Sharples is the other car. The Sharples think it's a passive position because he defends over the mountain, which pushes Sam Mitchell onto the grass. But he's back on the circuit, now being held up through Paul Bend. Of course, um, Sharp is a lot further back than what he should be. Oh, Mitchell locks up there. A lot further back than he should be, is uh, Sharp. Who's after both being wiped out by James Buckton. But Sam Mitchell's got past the boat smoothly now. He's coming up to take the second race win of the weekend. <laughs> he he um, knows he's been in a motor race there. It's a big victory for Sam Mitchell then. Double victory for Mitchell. We'll be back at Brands Hatch in a few weeks' time and where Ben Sims will be looking to take the win uh, away victories back. But still, that's Ben Sims' is, uh, equal worst result of the year. Second position, not bad at all. Robert Wainwright finished in third. Head of Michael O'Brien, who is fourth. James Hadfield, Percy Kaviri, Max Bartel, Roland Svensson, Alex Meek and James Lovett completed the top ten. So as I say, we're off to Brands Hatch in three weeks' time for HSE Super That's on the 13th of July. Join us then.